price is still too high, then I would go to this one. Well, now let me ask you, are you concerned about the cost or is it the price that you're concerned about? And a lot of times they would say, well, what's the difference? Now, I would always use, and incidentally, the reason I move to the board and what I encourage you to do, anytime you see me use this board to illustrate a point or use graphics to illustrate a point, that says to you that you need to be letting your prospect see you writing something when you're showing figures. And the reason is we've been conditioned to believe what we see and doubt what we hear. Now, if they see it and hear it, see it as logic, hear it as emotion, you put the two together and you got a better chance of making the sale. So the prospect says, well, what do you mean? Is it cost or price we're concerned about? Then I simply say, and here's the example I use because it happened in my life, I encourage you to get one out of your industry that specifically fits you. I say, well now, when my son was six years old, we went down to the Swin bicycle place to get him a bicycle. They told us it was $64.95. Well, years ago, that was an enormous price to pay for a bicycle. Just to teach a six-year-old how to ride, he's going to tear it up anyhow. So I went down to a discount store, and there I priced a bicycle for $34.95. Now, this price is obviously considerably less than that. And again, I'm showing them they're seeing it and hearing it. Now, it was a nice little bicycle. About 60 days later, we went back to that little bicycle store because we wanted to uh, get the handlebars replaced. And they said, well, you know, it's in warranty and not going to cost you anything. Well, 30 days later, we had to go back and get more new handlebars, no longer a warranty. And so now the price is $4.50 higher. And at this point, we have got, let me see, 14, 9, uh, uh, 30, yeah, $39.45 uh, invested in that bicycle. Well, about three months later, the entire sprocket apparatus, the brakes and all of that, came completely kazip. We went back to the little bicycle store, and this time it came to roughly $15. And now we've got $54.45 invested in that bicycle. Well, about a month later, the barons in the front wheel went kazip. We went back down to the little bicycle store, and they said it'd be about five bucks. I'd forgotten. I threw in the towel at that point, and I said, no way. Then we went and bought the Swin bicycle for $64.95. My six-year-old son rode that bicycle. He, he raised the handlebars, took the uh, fenders off, and made a dirt bike after about five years out of it. He rode that bicycle regularly for the next five years, and periodically he rode it for 10 years. The only other expense we had literally were two tires for that bicycle. Now let's look at what I've just said. The price of this one was considerably more than the cheaper bicycle. The cost of this bicycle right here for six months, it cost us $54.45 or $9 per month to him for him to ride that bicycle. In 10 years, this bicycle cost $64.95, or the cost was $6.50 per year. Now, Mr. Prospect, let me ask you again. Is it price or is it cost you're concerned with? Now, the reason I stress that so strongly is simply this. A lot of people can beat us on price, but nobody can beat us on cost. And since price is a one-time thing and cost is a lifetime thing, don't you really want the best possible lowest cost? That really is effective.